Staff wellness needs to be on the radar for any boss because it's a fundamental ingredient that impacts productivity and profits. It is as crucial as the accounting department, the marketing department, the sales department. Why? Because people drive those departments. If your people are not well, those departments are not well. It is its own category. It needs to be nurtured. So why do some management and bosses and leaders not address it? Well, firstly, sometimes I see it as a cost because they've got short-term targets and they're looking for an immediate return on any expenditure. Yet with wellness, the damage is gonna come in the long-term, not in the short-term, because can, people can tolerate some discomfort for a while. So if you've got long-term targets, then you start to look at wellness. So then if they do have long-term targets, what's the next issue? Well, the next issue is some management and leaders don't have the skill or the knowledge how to implement it. They've got the intent, but they don't know how to. See, I know how to impact the marketing department. I know how to impact the sales department. Wellness, it's out of my experience or knowledge area. For example, I was working with one very elite athlete and the, and the very elite coach, and they had a discussion, I was involved in it, and the athlete said, I think I'd probably need to look at my diet. And the coach said, all right, let's do it. Are you eating chocolate? And the athlete said, well, sometimes. And the coach said, all right, let's eliminate chocolate from your diet. And I turned to him and said, mate, that's not a plan. See, he had the right intent, but he didn't really know how to deal with the nutrition of this person. So some managers are in that position. So what if they do get the intellect and they do get the knowledge? Well, the next issue is, is it inside the management's jurisdiction? When it comes to health, it gets a bit gray. Well, here's an easy distinction to use. If someone's health only impacts them, then it's personal. But if it impacts the community they're in, then it becomes a community issue which we can have an influence over and impact. So for example, if someone's got BO, it impacts the community, then it can become a community issue and you have the opportunity to go, hey, let's do a workshop on whatever. So if we start to go, all right, well, I've got jurisdiction in that area. And mind you, they're also in the workplace for eight hours a day. Some people are in the workplace more than they're at their own home. So you've absolutely got jurisdiction. So if we've got long-term plan, we're starting to get the intellect, we've got the knowledge available to us, start to realize it's in our jurisdiction, what happens then? Well, then it comes down to an integrity issue. You either care about your people or you care about your short-term targets. And there's gonna be a conflict there. And, you, and it's okay, you can choose whatever you want, but beware, you go after short-term targets, you're eventually gonna get staff burnout, you're gonna get turnover, you're gonna get all the ugly things that come with people who have just had enough. Corporate, intellectual bleed, just everything goes. However, if you look after your people, you obviously get over a long period of time, you get momentum, you get major growth, you get morale, you get all those sorts of things. So wellness is something that is no longer fluffy. Wellness is something that the educated management business leader is deliberately managing and making a legitimate department in their organization.